Hello again. Dare I be so bold as to suggest that it's an almost a nice day. Fire station, fire engine outside, and guess what? Still standing. And we make it finally to Polly Steps. A lot of the salty, that's the uh, sandbank in the middle, visible today. Just zoom out to normal. Focus, there we are. And if you're wondering what the noises they're pressure washing the slipway which I'll show you in a second there we go that's what that noise is and there's the winter rose safe and sound happily in harbour train Oh, oh, missed that one. A few seabirds, but nothing really to write home about today, unsurprisingly. I suppose I could do the secret tunnel, but to be completely fair, I'd rather leave that for another day, I think. Got a couple of pub then and nows I'd like to try and do, or at least one anyway. Well, there we go. That's my report on Polly Steps this morning. Not too bad, definitely no dust today, which is great. Just an anomaly, a one-off, which is fine. Stuff happens, you know. But uh, yeah, let's get round to the back beach, push key, etc. See what's happening around there. And we made it to the fish key. And the tide is very low. Of course, that would mean that the uh, lighthouse part will be completely covered. But as for down here, look how low it is. Can't normally get down this far. Excellent. Regular viewers will remember I filmed these the other day and said, oh, the Timmouth sign's missing off the back. And it was. And there it is there. So either I was filming two different boats, which is plausible, or they took them off and fixed them. But they don't look like they've been put on brand new, do they? They still look a bit scratched. Anyway, mystery, 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 isn't it? All a mystery. And the barriers are back on the other quay, meaning you can't get the normal shot at the back beach when it's so tied so low. There's the barrier, you can't go past there. And normally, I'd walk up there, walk around the corner, and film the back beach from up there. There's the seabird, one of my favourite little boats to film. And the sea sports people. There we go. Right, let's head off to the back beach round by the streets instead of going round the dock. 
And just over there on the left is the King Billy or the King William, one of the very old pubs of Timoth. And I think we may have a then and now. Ooh. Here we go, then and now the King Billy, exact date, unfortunately unknown, but here we go. So very similar, same two doors, same windows, same brickwork, very nice. I've also got a shot of the uh, Jolly Sailor, which I'll do in a day or so, but I want to get another shot to go with it so I can do two at the same time. It'll all make sense when you see it. Well, unfortunately it appears we're losing the sun, and as I look up in the sky, it's getting darker and darker and darker, so possibly back to rain later on. Wonderful, but let's keep going while the sun's still sort of out. And they've got the washing out, and it's just starting to rain. A few drops have hit me as I set up that shot of the washing. Oh dear. Head up towards the seafront where it's still a sunny day by the look of things. Got to go littles later on, but apart from that, all good. Now the rain is chasing me. You may be able to see it now on the camera. Um, I've got my hat on now. But yes, I think it's going to come in. What a shame. I'm going to have to actually stop and do my fleece up in a minute. Anyway, there's a the captain's table. And there's the captain's table's tables. And the war memorial. And unsurprisingly, up by the lighthouse, we can see that the tide is indeed fully in. Nothing new there. And they've moved the toy library to this side of the pier now. And I saw him actually fitting it in yesterday. Or the other day anyway. And they screwed it down now so it's affixed to the floor. That um, tea shack has reopened with a new entrance there. Calling itself Cafe on the Promenade. So that's being used which is good. So I ducked onto the pier to avoid the rain. Grisby. At least they got rid of that dead seagull that was there for over a month. It's basically about just there, right where everyone came out and saw it. A rainy sea wall. But over there, Dawlish Way, looking quite sunny, quite clear, all the way along. Wow, quite a visibility today. Let's do a shot of the seafront while we're here. St Michael's, Bella Vista. The old site, the Esplanade Hotel. That's the doctors, Channel View Surgery. There's the Courtney on the corner there. There he is. Next to the pavilions, well, across the road from the pavilions. And then we get to the Halula Bar with the cinema in the background with those lovely penthouses and here we are at the other side there's that cafe place we just looked at behind the um, decorative sort of thing to advertise the pier that's the royal court apartments was the royal hotel one of our victorian shelters we used to have two of those but one of them got taken down when the uh, pavilions opened because the view restaurant wanted a better view so they took that away, which is a shame. A beach beachcomber, captain's table, with of course the Bay Hotel in the background, Powder and Terrace. 
crazy golf than that over there behind the lifeguards and the kiddies playground there's the other ice cream hut the lighthouse there's the high tide by the lighthouse no surprises there looking over to Sheldon lovely there's those flats there's the nest in all her glory and carrying on round to see how much further we can go without losing focus on a relatively clear day all the way around to Torquay there and that rock which I'm gonna be honest I don't know the name of but it escapes me as I'm talking senior moment our glorious peer the jewel in Timoth crown They cleaned it up a bit, like I say, but I didn't like the concept they were leaving dead birds there. Better get back behind the proper barriers. And I'm thankful to report the showers appear to have abated. A bit temporarily, no doubt. And we've got some blue skies coming towards us. Right there where those steps are, in front of the um, Pavilions Cafe. That's roughly where the other Victorian shelter used to be. So that's the view they wanted to unobstruct. And so then they go and have that park there instead. But I suppose the Victorian shelter wasn't earning money for the council. But um, that is mad. Chap over there with the green shorts, yep. carrying his daughter. His daughter's eating ice cream. And he's been being chased by seagulls. Frightening for the little girl though. And there go another couple of my subscribers I just stopped to have a little chat with. I say people say I don't show my face, but I'm certainly recognisable. Even see the rain on the sign. Monday 17th of July, highs of 21. Yes, rain though. Cloudy, no, rain. Right, I'm going to head up to Lidl's. Everyone's sheltering from the rain over there. Sea view takeaway. Always nice traditional British food at a reasonable price, very well prepared, very tasty, recommended. One final then and now before I head home from the rain, over there by Jackman's All Seasons, that was Fort's Cafe on the corner. The Seaview Diner and Takeaway, which we were just talking about behind those trees, you can't see them, but it's a double, double um, story building. And obviously, there's the buildings on that side so we're going back to the 1900s where the Seaview Dino was single story and you can just about make out the Forts Cafe on the corner there we are difficult to line that one up properly because of the trees that was the 1900s Regent Street And those large metal spikes or stands behind the bus shelter with the um, sharp edges roughly at headlight head height or neck height are still here not been removed yet but you can see where the old bus shelter was from the floor how much bigger it used to be it's like a third of the size of that tiny little bus shelter tiny Right, so we're going to head around past the Naughty But Nice Tea Room and Nigel's Tattoo Shop. Sign this is to the supermarket. Back of where the spoons for Barry. Lovely. And up Bickford Lane. Where we have the houses as they were since the year dot. And what used to be Brookhill School on the right until 1976. And then it was big empty car park or a big open car park just general cars by the dual carriageway and then it became they put the building up and it was the um, co-op I think and then the co-op sold it to Waitrose and Waitrose sold it to Lidl's which brings us to present day 
and Littles is where I'm going right now. So I'll see you when I get out of Littles. And that passing train symbolizes the end of today's walk. I'll hopefully get out again later if it clears up a bit, but it's still raining a lot now, even though it's blue skies on the video. All good though, see you tomorrow. Same time, same place for another adventure. Bye.